before we get back to the fun stuff, I just I have to ask you about obviously Canadian athletics has gone into a bit of a uh, a new phase recently with um, issues surrounding power, dy power dynamics and se sexual harassment and all of this stuff. And of course, you had a great relationship with Dave Scott Thomas. And so I just want to kind of get this out of the way and ask, uh, what was your original reaction to the story when it came out? And can you tell us anything about the culture of the team at the time and, and why maybe there wasn't that response or people didn't know at the time? Yeah, yeah, good questions. I'm glad you asked. So, um, well, before I get into the when I read the story, because the, the, the article came out in February, um, and in December is when I heard the news that there was a relationship between Megan and Dave. Um, and then I had, um, I talked to Michael Doyle quite a bit about, about, it, about the article coming out. Um, we had about a two hour conversation um, just, and he was just asking me questions about everything and just re really filling him in on, on, on kind of the stuff you asked. I won't, I won't talk for an hour 45 here, but um, uh, so I, so just between the questions he was asking and um, you, you know, like looking back, I, I you know, I could piece, piece quite a bit together, but then when I read the article, it's, it, 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 I still wasn't prepared for it. And Michael even emailed me the night before and, and said, Hey, you know, the, the article is going to come out tomorrow. It might be, you know, it, you know, it might be upsetting just, just to warn you. Um, and I said, no, thanks. And, but then when I read it, it was, it, it was like, um, beyond anything. And, and it's just, it was, you know, it's surreal to, to read stuff like that. Um, to think, you know, someone, and then also, you know, um, you know, one of the trips that was in that article was the 2002 um, National Cross Country Champs, uh, Megan won. And, you know, I was on that trip, you know, and it was the, it was, we took an RV and, and stuff. And so, um, I mean, I remember that particular race because I was trying to qualify for the World Cross Country Championships. I didn't qualify. Um, I forget where I finished, but I wasn't in the top 10 and I didn't get to go. Um, I was, you know, at the end of my university career. Um, yeah, we had, I, mean, I can't remember, maybe, must have been, there was more people on that particular Moncton trip than we could fit in the RV. So there was also a minivan as well. And um, yeah, I mean, there was, there was like memorable moments from that trip. A, a deer ran off the highway and, and smashed into the side of that RV and we couldn't use the side door and had like go out the driver's door and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the stuff like, you know, I remember it and, um, you know, of course, you know, you read the article and you look back and you're like, you know, the first thing that jumps into a lot of our minds reading that article and people who are around was, you know, what could we have done? You know, what did we see? Um, and there's a lot of second guessing and, you know, for, for weeks, you know, it's like, okay, we, I saw Dave and Megan, you know, go on a walk, you know, did I think anything of it at the time? No. Um, the only thing I thought at the time uh, was just that Dave was spending like a lot more time with Megan than the, than the rest of the athletes. And some of us were like, okay, okay. Like we're, we're over here too, you know? And like, but we didn't think anything, um, you know, inappropriate was going on. We, you know, we, and then, um, yeah, when Dave told, uh, this was years later, well, I guess, you know, three years later when Dave told a few of us that, um, someone in Megan's family had brought forth information to the university about um, like misconduct. Um, like we, when we left that meeting with Dave, it wasn't even like, we never even said like question, like, did it happen? We, we just thought, Oh, wow. Like, you know, I feel sorry for Dave that he's had to go through that. Like, you know, like he tried to help Megan for all these years. Now he's going through this. We feel sorry for Megan because you know something's wrong in her life where she you know she has like you know she's reaching out for attention and um so i mean that was really the i guess the the, the mental kind of like outlook that we had at the time um it just seems so far from dave's professional attitude to the sport and just the way he conducted himself um so yeah it was, it was just a really it was a real shock 
Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I read that article, I feel guilty that like, I had such a good relationship and I had a good, I had a really good time at university as well. Like my university career, you know, was, you know, we, you know, we won titles and we made good friends and, you know, we had like a lot of laughs and stuff like that. And everyone deserves that sort of uh, career, like the camaraderie and, um, and, and a good relationship with your coach. Right. So yeah, I feel guilty that I had that at the, at the same time, you know, someone's going, going through the worst time in their life. Right. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you read that article and there's just a lot of guilt um, and a lot of just second guessing about, you know, did we see anything? No, we didn't see anything, but like, could we have done something? And, you know, in hindsight, of course we could have, you know, um, and, and hopefully what we learn going forward from this is that, you know, a coach should never be alone with an athlete, you know, and if you draw the line there, then that's how you prevent these things from happening again. Um, versus, you know, maybe you see a coach and an athlete alone and you think, well, they're spending a lot of time together, but something's probably not happening. You know, like now we know that's not good enough. And so, yeah, I mean, I mean, the main thing is we don't want that this to happen again. And I think, um, I think talking about the story and, and thanks for asking the question is, is, is a good way to, to move forward and, and not have this thing happen because, you know, um, it, yeah, like, like I said, reading, reading that story was, um, yeah, I mean, I, I felt sick to my stomach, so brutal. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And thanks for that. And I don't want to dwell on this too long, but I do have one quick follow-up. Uh, obviously Dave was banned for life from athletics Canada. So I'm assuming you agree with that ruling. And then what's kind of, have you, have you talked to Dave since? Have you talked to Megan? What's, what's, uh, what's the status now? Yeah. Um, so yeah, Dave's banned from coaching, um, which is not a surprise. I don't, I don't think he would be able to coach anyways. I don't think, I don't see anybody, you know, who would, who would, uh, you know, after, you know, you read that article. So that's, to me, that was like kind of a no brainer that that was going to come down. Um, and, uh, the other question, yeah, no, I haven't talked to him. Um, uh, I think the last time, uh, we connected would have been well early December, late November. Um, I think like early December before, um, before I found out the truth and then way before the article. Uh, and yeah, I have talked to Megan, um, all things, all things considered the, what she's gone through, um, bringing her story public, which, uh, you know, it would be very hard to do. And I commend her for bravery and, um, all that, you know, all that, um, she seems and she's doing really well. I mean, she just has a new, uh, a new baby, a new baby girl. And yeah, we had a good conversation a couple of weeks ago and, um, it, I mean, it's sad, but it's, it's also interesting that we can kind of fill in, like we both have questions for each other, um, and kind of helping each other, you know, deal with certain things. And she's just such a positive person. Um, you know, I got off the phone and I, I almost couldn't believe, um, her outlook and how positive she is and, and just how ready she is to move forward and, and how, you know, for what went on, like the, the peace that she is, that she has like with herself. So, um, it was a really, it was a really good conversation. 